hello fellow couch potatoes welcome to my channel let's get to today's video married at first sight is wrapping up the wedding phase of season 14 in its episode bean town wedding throwdown the episode opens up with Noi and Steve's nuptials which are slightly delayed by her nerves but eventually she finds her way down the aisle. When it comes time for the vows and exchange of the rings, the tension breaks as Steve offers her a ring pop as an option. Meanwhile, on Alisa and Chris's side of things, the couple-to-be preps up for their wedding without much concern as they both trust the process they've chosen to participate in. When Alisa and Chris's ceremony does begin, she walks herself down the aisle in cowboy boots that he admires when the officiator reads a message to Chris from Alisa's family, she gets emotional over the mention of her dog and he later learns how passionate she is about animals as they chat over champagne. Unfortunately for Chris, he can't seem to hold Alisa's interest when he brings up his passion for his frisbee golf. Then we had a picture time and first up were Katina and Aluwajan who were in a blissful bubble as they became more comfortable together. Alisa thinks Chris looks like a real estate agent and avoids getting too touchy-feely with her new hubby. Meanwhile, Noi enjoys meeting Steve's family during their photo session before she goes through a wardrobe change into a traditional Loatian ensemble. Noi also offers Steve a garment for him to wear as a welcome to her culture and family. Aww, that is a nice welcome. At receptions, the couples share their first dances during which Katina feels gushy towards Ola and Noi and Steve share a kiss on the dance floor. As for Mark and Lindsay, he wants to pull more of her loving side out, noting that she may be outgoing but he can see that she's shielding herself in some ways as well. When Katina and Ola sit, they discuss kids and are excited to learn that they share similar views for their plans including traveling for a few years and then settling down to start a family together. Noi and Steve tackle a different topic at their reception table when she asks about his job status. He admits that he's not currently working a full-time job but... From what she's seen of Steve, Noi isn't concerned about her new husband's future. Meanwhile, Chris and Alisa have varying views of their experience as he thinks this is the best first date experience of his life. Okay, wow. On the other hand, Alisa is anxious and can't determine if they'll make it forever. And Jasmina and Michael chat about their sleep schedules and she seems horrified to learn that he wakes up at 4 in the morning every day, leaving her to wonder if they'll ever have time to spend together. Mark kicks off family chats by speaking with Lindsay's brother and father who give him a hug and accept his request for a blessing to be married to their sister and daughter. Katina chats with Ola's groomsmen and asks about his quirks. They tell her she'll have to be patient. Meanwhile, Ola talks the ear of Katina's mother, noting that he does have ADHD, but it is possible that the long-winded interaction is due in part because of his wedding day nerves. Jasmina speaks with Michael's sister, who welcomes her with open arms and gifts her with a pin to symbolize their mother who has passed away, noting that it's a symbol of their mother watching over Jasmina now. Oh, that is so sweet. What a beautiful welcome. It's two for two with these welcomes so far. Michael learns from Jasmina's family that when she's quiet, 
that's a bad sign. So he should ask for her to share what she's feeling. Chris is told by Alice's mother that he should give his new wife space when she needs it. Otherwise, she'll shut down and be unresponsive. Alisa learns from Chris's friends that he can be condescending at times, but that he doesn't mean it. Mm -mm. The revelation doesn't exactly sit well with the new bride. Well, it shouldn't. What wedding has been your favorite so far? Mine definitely is Ola's. I liked how he proposed even though they were in the middle of their nuptials. It's just different. And then my other question is, will Chris and Alisa get on the same page of their love story? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.